acceptance, affirmation, and then that powerful accountability, and then authority. And let me just tell you, I'm going to finish with this and all. I'm going to finish, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> standing before my Lord Jesus at the beam seat when he's going to reward us. And I want, like you, to hear, well done, good and adequate servant. But I know me, and I know this heart, and I know my history, and I have my doubts. You know what I mean? And I, I so want to hear, well done. And I picture this long line. We're all in it, and we're working our way past the beam seat. One and I don't know if that's what it's going to be able to. And, and to my mind comes this phrase, that I put as a memorial here in my Bible. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, this, yeah, uh, this is a memorial in the back of my Bible. This is a letter that was left at the Vietnam uh, Wall Memorial Wall. And you see, you know, they call offerings at the wall. You leave every kind of stuff. This is a letter to a name on the wall, and it's from his old battle buddy in Vietnam. John, the things I'm going to say in this letter to you are about 20 years and a whole lifetime late, but maybe that won't matter once they've been said. It's like, I need to say these things, but we never talked about it. We trusted each other totally. We depended on each other. We supported each other. We shared a whole lot in the time we knew each other. Pain and hunger and sickness and triumph and laughter and more than a little excitement. We even shared a lover. Death was her name. Both of us wooed her, but you won her, John. What a deal for you. You know, I've never forgiven you for leaving me alone. I've been alone and lonely ever since. Dot, dot, dot. And I never thanked you for the times that you saved my life any more than you thanked me for the time that I saved yours. I think, he's referring to their youth, I think we kind of thought it was understood and didn't matter that we say it, but it's really important to me. I need to say it. A lot of guys who were there in country said they feel like they lost something in Vietnam. I know what I lost. I've always said that when you died, it was like the other half of myself. I lost my youth, all the idealism and trust and self-confidence and personal power that we had, either inside of us or drilled into us. And I'm scared now, John, most of the time. And I hurt a lot. Listen, his friend. What happened to us cost me a life as much as it cost you yours. I never got to say goodbye. So I've come to this monument to have a little memorial service and to say goodbye and to let you go. I will never forget you. You don't have to worry about that. And then this sentence, the punchline. I am a living testimony that you were good and were we did together. I'm a living testimony that you were good and were we did together. So back to the beam. It's my turn. And I so want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. And I hear it. And here's Steve Keels. Here's John Holman. Here's Jim Lundy. Here's Steve Tucker. And I find myself saying, Lord, you need to know these guys were good at what we did together. We were soldiers together. And the only reason I'm hearing, well done, good and faithful servant, is because I walked in this company. You remember Band of Brothers? Remember the interviews at the end, the best part of the whole series? Yeah. And they're talking to Dick Winters. His grandson, or granddaughter, says, Papa, were you a hero in the war? And his eyes glaze over this giant of a man and a leader. He says, no, but I served in a whole company of them. say, that's what the church needs. Yeah. Is it's meant yeah. to serve each other to the place of soul strength. Well, and then everybody will win. Yeah. That's great. Father, I pray that you would help me in the next hour uh, to be uh, such a servant of your spirit and so alert to time that the message that you have is complete. I pray that you would help these men to long for friendship like that. And I pray that you would help all of us, especially those who might not know you yet, to know that we have never had a warrior partner like Jesus. We've never had a soldier friend who is more of a fellow soldier than Jesus. Thank you for being best friend to all of us. I pray, Father, that our lives could honor you and glorify